they're dead. <laughs> Thank you, Aster. Yeah, I try to keep the Discord pretty civil. Oh, interesting, Enon. Okay. I know, Micro. I was kind of the same way. Like, I'm surprised. Um, but it's nice to just get that feel for... So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to check out, like... Stone Arrow is 62% power doing 3 dice 8, right? And then IMB is doing 2 dice 8, but it's only at 31% power, and obviously it knocks back. So, Searing Ray, look at this. It's doing 3 dice 7. Now, here's a question. Um... Is this reflecting how much damage the first pulse of Searing Ray does, and then the subsequent pulses actually do more damage than this? Yeah, I'm curious about that too, St. Rass. Um, it is like Force Lance, yeah. Exactly. It's like a short-range knock-em-back spell. So... When I pulse up, is it like 150% power, 200% power, or, um, or maybe that's per shot, maybe then it doesn't power up, it just follows the target. Like, maybe it just means that you can stand there and it will follow the target? I don't know. Because Searing Ray... Yeah, Knockback is great. It's just not a nuke. No, Fading, I'm, I'm realizing that too. Isn't that funny, Steve? I know. It's like you would think this much transparency would help, but now it's kind of like, well, now I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to give this guy this, and then... Honestly, Searing Ray is just so good. As long as you can take some damage, it's great. Um, I'll turn off Hexes. It's true, Snack. Yeah, I think you're right, Snack. I think I was just thinking of the old Searing Ray. But Searing Ray, though, it's a ray, meaning that it operates like a, like a wand of acid, right? Like everything, it hits everything in its path, correct? And then does like diminishing damage past a certain number of targets or something like that? Um, Alright, I'm going to put on this ring. Hey, dexterity. Sure, why not? Oh, lightning rod. Yeah. No reduced damage? Jeez. So it doesn't diminish. It just caps at a certain number of targets? Or does it hit everything? Like, doesn't its range get shortened by how many targets it hits or something like that? I can't remember how it works, honestly. Now I'm just, like, completely wrong. Not for Searing Ray. Well, then Searing Ray is just a banana spell, isn't it? Oh, that whole feature got removed as well? Well, then, fair enough. I'm out of, I'm out of practice. That was Bolts? Oh, just for Bolt stuff. Okay. See... This is the problem with a person like me who's been playing this game for so long. The rules just blend together, and I'm, I, I can be like 10 versions off. Oh, that's what it is, Snack. It's just more efficient. So it only costs one mana to maintain the ray on the target. 
That's even better, honestly. That level of efficiency is gross. Yeah, being cold. Oh, God. Hydra. Okay. Um, let's just back away. All right. A full ray costs five. I get it. So two up front and then three rounds of maintaining the ray. All right. Now, four-headed Hydra. What do you guys think? Should I uh, pick a fight with this guy? Should I drop a Mephitic Cloud, or do I have no chance of confusing the Hydra? That's what I was thinking, Goodly. Like, you know, I could drop a Cloud, try to confuse him. He's resist poison, right? So then he doesn't care, does he? Um, Prism. Good idea, Enon. I could also drop... Uh, I could conjure flame in the doorway... He's resistant to poison. I could slow him down with, like, you know, Ice Blast Wand or something. Oh, yeah, that's no good, you know, you're right. Prism is loud. Yeah. I could go straight up to escape if I need to, right? All right. Let's just... I can always just run, perhaps. All right, so I can just cast then... Let me try Conjure Flame. So you cast it, and then you step back, and then it bursts into flame, and then you step away, and he's in the flame. Um... Do you think I can Mystic Blast him back into the fire? Like, can I bounce him back into that? Or does he not get moved by Mystic Blast because he's so big? Okay. So, I don't want to step in and keep... I don't want to step here to keep him in the fire because he's going to get to hit me. Um... But maybe it's worth launching a spell at him and then bouncing him back with Mystic Blast. So, should I blast him with Acid? Or should I start... Bounce it back, then move in? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, good. Uh, yeah, Steam also. That's a good choice. Alright. So, if I... just mystic blast oh he got knocked back but then he's it's like it happened simultaneously so look at this it knocked him back but then he moved right back into it so i wonder if i can just if i can like stun lock him in the fire like it simultaneously moves him back and then you know he keeps walking in the fire let's just see if it works no he, uh, he was not fooled that other time. Okay. So. Let's see if I can step over here. Let me, let me see if I can blast him back again, maybe. You think I should steam now? Or I was thinking about Mystic Blast and then steam. Do you think I should just steam now? Myst if I did knock him with Mystic Blast, like I could theoretically take no damage. Um, okay. Alright, so he's standing in the scalding. He doesn't like it. And then... He will take damage... He will take damage, um, next round from the steam, right? So, should I... Stone Arrow, or just start up a Searing Ray... All right, then I think we should just start Searing Ray, right? And, uh... There we go. Yep. 
eventually we got him. You know, it's interesting, like, he basically just wasn't able to hurt me. I mean, my seven armor class was enough to, like, maybe he just rolled. Did he roll really badly? He didn't do hardly any damage to me, and he hit me. Just rolled low, St. Ras. I think you're right. Oh, well. You know what? I'm never going to just be upset when the enemies roll low against me. Um, 18 per head? Yeah. So he gets to roll a D18, and he rolled like a 2 or something? Sweet. All right. Yeah, a condenser vein would be good. I'm still doing evocations, although five might be high enough. Um, Inner Flame isn't a good spell to memorize, is it? It's Immolation, right? Too clunky? Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's going to hurt me. All right, then. Hey, Curried Favor. What is up, my friend? Good to see you again. We're still alive here, Curried. <laughs> yeah, it's... See, that's the thing, Enon. I don't trust myself enough with making my enemies a bomb. Now, Lightning Bolt might be worth it. I could switch over to, like, air magic if I wanted to... You guys think I... Lightning Bolt seems pretty good, right? I mean, it's already Conjuration. I don't have a massive nuke except Searing Ray. Lightning Bolt still can bounce back, but it's probably good enough to memorize, right? I only have a 1% fail on it. I did get Fulminating Prism. I do have it. You have to set up bounces to get the most out of it. Hmm. Then maybe it's not as good. Um, let me see. Oh, Jesus. Look at this. It's one die 38. Look how hilarious this is. I mean, honestly, it's like... It's one dice 38, right? But if you look at my Searing Ray, it's 3 dice 7. I mean, it's... Yes, 21 is less than 38. But... It's way more accurate. Like, Lightning Bolt can be dodged pretty easily. It's only 3 pips of accuracy, right? Um, <laughs> exactly. If you double bounce, you could do 2 damage or 76 damage. That's a good point, St. Ross. It is really loud. This Searing Ray is just quiet. Like, it doesn't have the... I think Lightning Bolt has better range. Um, but maybe I should look for something else. <laughs> exactly, Steve. I'd probably hit myself, too. Honestly. Oh, you're right. Did I get that? Um, I do have plus one range. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'd rather have, like, Iron Shot or something like that. Yeah, Bolt of Fire, but something like that. You know what I mean? Um, but we just don't have access. So, whatever. All right. Then I won't I won't bother with it. I'm, I'll stick with what I've got. I know. Do they take all the bolts out of the game? Yeah, see, I don't want that. I don't want to bounce to death on accident. Oh, lightning bolt. Yeah, duh. We're just talking about a bolt, and I'm asking if they took all the bolts out. Not my best move. Okay. Um, well, we're okay. Only a couple left. Yeah. Looks like we found the old snake pit. 
Oh, this is... This is a real party in here. Jeez. All right. I got an idea. You think I should... Uh, I was thinking about Mephitic Cloud, but they're resist poison, right? So, like... You think I should just drop a Fulminant Prism, like, right here and run away? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to go to the steps. Like, I just drop it, like, right there. Ah. Eh. They broke it before it did anything good, but this is okay. Honestly, I could do another one. I'm going to try it again. Nah. It blew up too fast that time. I gotta put it a little bit closer to them, I guess. Alright, let me try it one more time. Oh, I don't have enough magic. Well, then, fine. Two steps. Okay. Alright. Well, you're right, Snack. It was good training wheels. It's just good practice to try to learn the function of the spell. And, boy, I didn't do a good job. Alright, let's try this again. So first things first, let's just... Oh, look at this. This is getting crazy. Okay, let me get the prism. Let's... Uh, right here? Or one step closer? Down here? Here? Here, here. Okay. That was good. That hit him pretty hard. Now, every enemy is going to know where I am at this point, unfortunately. I'm going to have to use a different staircase after this. But this is fun. This is just like practicing. I mean, honestly, we just kill a six-headed Hydra with it. Pretty easily, too. I'll take that. All right, I'm going to go up. Man, this guy was being a complete jerk. Oh, you can space him to have more than one down? Wow, that's awesome, Enon. All right, let me try to find a different staircase. Here we go. Cane Toad. Yeah, the extended range from Vehumet with Searing Ray is even even juicier. Yeah, I mean, Curried Favor, honestly, um, first of all, to your other question, yes, I here's another Amnesia Scroll, so I definitely have some. Um, I'm, I mean, it was super powerful right there. It did a lot of damage. I just need to get better at using it. Seven-headed Hydra. So, speaking of getting better at using it. You would consider it? Yeah, it might be nice to have, like, a... Uh-oh. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Not the Basilisk. Not like this. Um... God, what do I do with this Basilisk? Yeah, if he sees me, I will. I wonder if I should just drop a prism, like, up by him. Yeah, that's a good point, Curried Favor. I do have the amnesia, so why not, right? Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, I just... I want a big nuke, and I just don't... Um, 
quite have it. Yeah. Oh god, that was the wrong thing. Hmm. I don't know about this. I'm gonna teleport. I didn't... Something... I completely messed up the... Uh, <laughs> I did not do a good job here. I did a teleport. That was bad. I played badly. <laughs> yeah, Snack, I think you said it right there. That was uh, bad. Bad all around. Sometimes you just gotta admit that you screwed up the positioning and run. <laughs> Milk was a bad choice. I wish you could blindfold yourself, you know, or or like put the mirror on the shield, you know. That's a good idea. That's interesting, St. Ross. That's a good point. All right. That also works. Okay, let me get out of here. I don't want to stand in the open area. All right, let's go ahead and then memorize Lightning Bolt. Oh, we got to forget something. All right, so if I was going to forget something, what do you think? I mean, I'm not really casting uh, stone. Like, should I get rid of Stone Arrow? It's I don't see it having any use. Um, yeah, exactly. Ray is like, it's great early, but it starts to wear off in terms of its power. I don't see Stone Arrow scaling up any better than Searing Ray for me right now. Um, yeah, that's a good call. I mean, I don't... Conjure Flame is not that great. It's okay. I'm going to do Stone Arrow just because uh, I, it's just not the nuke that I'm going to cast. All right. Got Conjure Flame. Yeah. I think Conjure Flame is my next one to go out. I mean, it's just like it's a little wonky to use in my opinion. I agree with you guys. It used to be better, but the fact that you have to kind of rev it up makes it harder to be powerful. All right. Um, I mean, did you see what Steam Cloud just did right there? <laughs> My Steam Breath. Oh, it's so good. All right, we're going for intelligence. All right. Um, we got a little bit of boast from... I know. Yeah, the, it was like laser beams and then breathe steam. I think you're right, Enon. If I could get my positioning better, it would be good. So I got better armor class, um, which, okay, fine. Oh, Komodo. I hate seeing the Komodo here. I don't have my full magic points. Komodos just are so tough, health-wise. Hey, Blue Sedge, what's up, my friend? Thank you for the follow. How you doing? Just trying to stay alive with this Draconian here. Um, yeah, let's identify the scrolls. Brand weapon, interesting. And this potion. Cancellation, that's a good one. I don't know what that means, um, but I'm guessing you beat a Komodo dragon to death with your clogs? No, I get it. The Komodo? Oh, man. I 
I hate clogging the Komodo. It's such a pain. We need to develop better technology for dealing with a clogged toilet than the plunger. I'm always embarrassed when I use it. Like, this is a bad piece of technology. Oh, I almost got killed by that guy. Yeah, this guy's way harder than I want him to be. Um, all right. I think we need to... Nope, Mystic Blast didn't move him away. Uh... <laughs> I don't even know if I've hurt this guy. It's pretty much I, can, I need to teleport immediately. So I'll poison him next time, but he's too close to me. Please don't kill me, Mr. Boulder. All right. Jesus. 